we re-uploaded this video kasi I made a mistake dun sa una na I said na it's only 8,000 pesos. When it comes to monitors, there are a ton of marketing buzzwords that us buyers have to sift through. Refresh rates, G-Sync, panel types, control ratios, pixel density, and so much more. For some of us, especially the non-gamers here, we don't need all that fluff. We just want to get what we're paying for. Sometimes you just need a monitor that simply works. BenQ or Bank looks to give us just that with their new office monitor. I've tested this monitor and surprisingly, all its marketing claims turned out to work. What? A company that's honest about the product they're selling? I'm Rocky the Programmer and in this video, we're going to review Bank's GW2780 t and find out why this might be the best work from home upgrade to get. The marketing on the box is just two items. One is stylish monitor and by the looks of it, we can say that it's indeed stylish. Thin bezel-less panel, a cool looking stand, and minimal branding. The other is eye care technology. It boasts a 2 Rhineland certification for both being flicker-free and having low blue light content. Now, the latter is the spec that we'll care about, but more on this later. For specs, it's got a 27-inch Full HD IPS panel at 60Hz. It has HDMI, DisplayPort, and VGA for connectivity. And it has a cool removable stand. It can pivot, tilt, swivel, and you can adjust the monitor height easily with it. It's solid and quite frankly feels super premium for just an office monitor. One of the better base stands I've seen. And if that's not your thing, it's base amountable. Let's talk about that eye care claim. First, it's certified to be flicker free and that's supposed to help with minimizing eye strain as flickering can cause your pupils to dilate rapidly. Honestly, I wasn't sure I felt any difference compared to any other monitor I've used. I didn't feel any strain on my eyes using this monitor, but I can say the same for most monitors. Now, the interesting thing, however, is the low blue light content. Out of the box, its default screen setup is that low blue light setting. I can immediately tell the warm yellowish tone of the screen at first glance, but it's not jarring. It's comfortable, I can still watch movies with it, play games, but I just wouldn't use the mode for any design work, like Photoshop, video editing, anything na may color na kailangan. Basically, you want as little blue light as possible as this has been linked with eye disease and general eye damage. It's also been found to interfere greatly with your sleep pattern. Usually, I'm skeptical about claims like this and I had really low expectations. I didn't have enough time or data to test whether this feature was indeed saving my eyes, so I was just gonna gloss over it. But let me tell you, the first night of me using this monitor, I had such a great sleep. I tested it the following day and again, great uninterrupted sleep. I was full of energy and I was rested. I tried my best to test and make sure it wasn't a placebo. I alternated between the bank and my personal monitor and I made sure not to use my phone before I slept. Basically, work from 9 to 5 p.m. coding, writing scripts, team meetings, play games from 10 p.m. to around 1 then straight sleep, no phone usage after. And the results are as consistent as you'd expect. I'd have straight sleep using the bank and have sometimes straight, sometimes interrupted sleep using the other monitor. I know this is far from being a scientific, irrefutable testing method, but for that use case, the blue light thing actually worked and that's more than you can say about some of the other monitors we've tested here. Other good features include a light sensor at the bottom. You can set it so that it dims automatically based on your light environment. Lastly, the OSD and the controls are very intuitive and responsive. Now for the not so great things. So far, it's looking like a great office monitor. But for most of us, we also use our PC for play and not just for work. Gaming with this monitor is a bit of a letdown. The 60Hz refresh rate really doesn't cut it by today's standards in gaming. The screen is also noticeably high in latency. I don't play FPS games that much, but even in games like Brawlhalla, Ghost Recon Wildlands, and Risk of Rain 2, the pixel lag is very apparent. Outside of gaming, there are still some wrinkles to discuss. Scrolling through a web page or a Word document, you can see ghosting that is just hard to ignore. The viewing angles leave a lot to be desired, but thankfully, there's not much light bleed, especially in dark scenes. The overall colors and vibrancy are passable, but you can tweak it to your liking using the OSD. Okay, so addendum lang. 
We re-uploaded this video kasi I made a mistake dun sa una na I said na it's only 8,000 pesos. When in fact, itong monitor na ito retails for 11,990 pesos. So almost 12,000. It kind of skews ng konti yung recommendation ko for it kasi yun nga, it's an office monitor with very basic na features pero 12,000 pesos siya. But again, I would counter na is it too much of a price to pay for healthier eyes and better sleep. Your monitor is something that you use every day and like 100% of the time that you're using your PC, you're using your monitor. So, nakababad yung eyes mo dun. So, ultimately, it would be up to you. Pero for its features and yun nga, yung for the price that it's asking, uh, we're giving this rating. While it's not perfect, all of its claims, tungkol dun sa eye care and all the technologies that actually work, I still think that it is worth it. Pero yun nga, it's ultimately up to you. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puan nato, de joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.